Hi everyone, this is Eric from Dumb Game Dev, and this is day three of 30 custom actions for 30 days, where I'm going to be putting out 30 custom playmaker actions over the next 30 days, and as I suggest, this is the third day. Now the action I'm going to be looking at today is called Create Material. Now there was a request on the Playmaker form for a Create Material action, and there was one made. Now what I've gone done is actually just rewritten this from scratch, and I made a few small changes to the way the code works, as well as a little tweaks here and there. So let's take a look at this uh, Create Material action and what it can do. So I've got an empty game scene here, and I can just create a 3D object. I'm just going to make a cube. We need something to put our uh, material onto. And let's just move our camera closer to our object so we can see it. And um, I will rotate this object just slightly so that uh, we can get a better view on it from in the camera. Okay. Yeah, so that looks good. Now I'm going to go just to the cube directly and go into my Playmaker tab here and start an FSM. And I'm going to do this just all in one state. I only need one state to do this. So the first action, of course, is just called Create Material, which you can download from my GitHub account. This is free. So if you're looking for it, it's just Create Material. And it should be under your Materials section if you've already got this installed. So you're just going to create the material. And you have to create a variable a variable for this because it, it doesn't exist yet, so it's just in Playmaker, so you can't add anything here. So we're just going to go create new variable and just call this new material. And then the next uh, field here, it says shader name. So you can put the name of any kind of shader that you've got and it should accept it. So right now I'm just going to use the standard shader for this. And that's just the default shader that Unity uses for most things. And it should be in there by default, actually. Standard shader should already be typed in. Now, I've also gone ahead and added an albedo color and a main texture. So you could leave these blank if you want. But for me, when I'm creating um, new materials, I, I'm pretty much always setting a texture and an albedo color. So I've just added those in for my own convenience. Now, if you don't want to set them, you can just click the uh, variable box here, like this, the tab, and it can be none and none, right? But I'm going to set something. I'm just going to set like, uh, I don't know, some kind of a light green color. And let's just select a texture here, something random here. How about a bang texture? Okay, so the next thing we need to do is actually put this onto something. And um, how are we going to do that? Let's take a look here. So I've got some recent ones I've used. So I guess we're going to use... Um, set Material Texture. No, we just want something called like Set Material, right? Set Material... Okay, I had a momentary lapse there, but under material, as I suspected, it's just a set material action. So we'll just choose that as set material, It'll be our second action. And the game object is going to be the owner, which is our cube. And the material index, we're not going to worry about that. Then we can set the material. So right now it's none, but I'm going to hit the variable little box here. And then just choose my variable called new material. So we'll just hit play and see what happens. And there we go. So the new material has been created with my uh, desired options. And it's gone on to the cube. We just take a look at the scene view. Looks good. Now if we check the inspector, we can see that it's using a standard shader here. It's green. It's using the albedo color. Now, if you wanted to set up more options here and you think, oh, I want to you know, set up a normal mask or some height you know, or the metallic, whatever else. You can do that. There are options here in Playmaker to do that. So we've got set material texture, and you can choose um, which texture field you want to use. So it's going to be the main texture field, although it is typed in here automatically. You probably can't see what I'm clicking at, so let me move this over. Okay, so here is the set material texture, and uh, so it's named 
texture as the main texture. So you need the name of the texture field that you're going to use. So you might have to look that up. And then you can set that as well as you can um, do other things like set material. I think it's called set material float. So I'll add this one here. So the set material float can change different values such as the um, metallic slider, the smooth slider. You, you have to name them here. So it does require you looking up a little bit on, um, if you're not familiar, on the Unity documentation to find the names of these sort of things. So, so maybe in the future I, I should make a uh, set material flow with a bunch of different options from a drop down. The thing is, is that different shaders have different potential sliders. But that being said, the default shader is used quite a bit, so you know we can maybe start there. Okay. Anyway, so that's uh, day three, and the custom action today is create material. And don't forget to come join us on our Slack channel. So the link is down there in this YouTube video's description, and you just click there, join us. It's a free chat. There's lots of us playmaker people just talking about playmaker in general, our projects, and the problems we're having. Help each other out, whatever else. So I'll see you there.